Good afternoon. How have you guys been? It's been a minute since I've done just a live one-on-one -on -one recording with everybody and so many extraordinary things have been happening. Um, just wanted to get caught up with all of you and wanted to do some meditation and some channeling. So I think the most exciting thing that's been happening lately is that I have been channeling Yeshua or Jesus. Um, he actually explains that there are three different aspects of him. There's Yeshua, who was the being that walked on earth about 2,000 years ago. There is the Jesus component of him that he explains was an avatar who, hey Mindy, um, who came from the future when he had that moment of baptism. His cousin, uh, John the Baptist, did a baptism with him and um, it, it was like an ascension experience for him like a kundalini download, and then he went and spent 40 days, 40 nights out in the desert and kind of reconciled everything that happened to him. It was an incredible ascension experience. And then from there, um, there's also the aspect of the Christed being, which is what he, as a teacher, is here to help all of us experience. So um, I had a client who was in crisis, and I was doing uh, some Akashic record work with her, and she and she was just very, very upset and very, very depressed and actually feeling a bit suicidal. And um, I felt this presence come in from my left and he said to me, may I step in? And I said, okay. And um, he came through and he started having a conversation with her and she said, she was angry and she was like, who is this God? And he says, no, I am the, <laughs> the one that you know is Jesus. And I was like, oh Lord. Um, it was overwhelming for me. I cried my eyes out. Um, I tend to do that when he comes through just because of the love and the energy. Um, so I'm going to lead us through a meditation and then I'm going to do some channeling and bring him through. I have a workshop that's going to be coming up. It starts on Monday, November 9th. It is called the Quantum Spiritual Healing Workshop. It's an eight week program and it's going to take uh, people through four psychic healing tools, psychic surgery, something called clearing the clairs, um, how to, learning how to read the Akashic records and then Akashic healing. And Akashic healing is it's along the lines of what I used to call um, the past life healing, but I've realized that there isn't a past, there isn't a present and a future, so to speak. It's all like these lives, it's all happening simultaneously. So when you go into the field of the Akashic, you're given access to, you know, what would happen if I did this or why do I have this pattern? Why do I have this feeling? Why do I love this place? And why am I scared of that place? Why do I love this person? Why do I hate this person? Why do I have these addictions? You know, all those questions can be answered inside of the realm of the Akashic Records. So um, what I find is that people need to learn the technique to be able to remove energy blockages, which is what the psychic surgery is. That's a technique that I've developed over many, many years of training probably over 40 years of uh, training and learning. And then the clearing the clairs is a way to go in and look at four different clair abilities. Your clairvoyance, which is your ability to see spirit beyond your physical eyes. Clairaudience is the ability to hear spirit beyond our physical ears. Clairsentience is that ability to feel spirit, like when you get goosebumps, uh, you know, your scalp goes crazy because um, you're feeling spirit. And then there's claircognizance where you just know information that's coming to you that doesn't necessarily make any sense. Um, so I work on uh, teaching you how to clear those four psychic abilities, extrasensory perception, if you will. Uh, and then from there, you're pretty much ready to go into the realms of the Akashic Records. The Akashic Records are a dimension, um, it's kind of like the cloud, where you have access to every aspect of every part of your soul's journey since your incarnation, uh, past, present, and future. And then the final one is how to do healing within that. So now that you know that you have this situation and you have these proclivities or you have these patterns or you have these addictions, how do you actually go in and heal them? And that's the work that we do in that last portion that we call Akashic Healing. So that class is gonna be really, really cool. And then um, I have this brilliant young woman named Cassidy who has helped us with the rebranding for the Soma Life Sanctuary, which is gorgeous. And for my branding is Reverend Lynn Laborde. And um, I'm doing a meditation group every single morning where I'm channeling Jesus. And we've, I'm getting ready to put all those uh, videos up on YouTube. And uh, every Sunday night I'm, uh, with my friend Rob, 
Hey, Deb. How are you, my darling? Um, my friend Rob Scarpa and I do something that we call Soma Life Sundays, where we're having guests. It's, you know, a journey with spirit. Having guests come in and talk about all these different ways that they relate to spirit, whether it's reading tarot cards or whether it's channeling information. All, hey, Soph. All the different ways that they um, have interactions with spirit, how, how spirit communicates to them. Um, so that's been really lovely. If any of you would ever like to come and be a guest on that show, please reach out to me. Um, Rob and I would love to have you. Uh, I have clients that are doing channeling training right now with my dear friend, Wendy Gale. Um, just all different ways that people are relating to and connecting to spirit. So it's been really beautiful. All right, I'm gonna lead us through meditation. So I invite all of you to get into a really nice, comfortable seated position. Go ahead and close your eyes and take a nice inhale in through your nose. And a nice releasing calm exhale through your mouth. Beautiful. Another beautiful deep inhale in through your nose and a nice relaxing exhale through your mouth. Another beautiful deep inhale in through your nose and a nice releasing exhale through your mouth. Next, I want you to imagine that as you take an inhale, upon your exhale, I want you to pop your head off and place it inside of your heart. Just let yourself become really heart-focused and heart-centered. Feel all that yummy love that's inside of your heart. Beautiful. Now I want you to take another inhale. And with your exhale, I want you to imagine that your higher self comes and stands before you. Your higher self in all of their beauty all of their love, all of their knowledge and wisdom and knowing the being that guides you through this journey, through all of the journeys of your soul, basically your oversoul. Imagine that if the universe is a mirror ball and each mirror reflects a simultaneous existence, then your higher self, your oversoul, is the light that is on the inside of that mirror ball. I want you to take another inhale. And with your exhale, I want you to step inside of the light and the essence of your higher self. And allow yourself to feel the glory, that incredible unconditional love that your higher self has for you. A being that loves you beyond measure, that knows you, the one that whispers to you and guides you, the one that says, do this, for this will bring you to yourself. Go here, for this will bring you closer to home, closer to the truth of you. Read this book, listen to this person. Your higher self is the aspect of you that is pure spirit, the being that guides you on this earthly journey, in this world of illusion and maya, where we think that there are others and they're really just aspects of ourselves. Allow yourself to feel the love of being completely embraced by the blessing that your higher self is your oversoul is for you. It's the place where you are seen. It's the place where you are known. It's the place where you're held. And if you ever find yourself in these moments where what you need is to feel connected, allow yourself to close your eyes and to go within and to know that there is a presence of love that is so phenomenal and it is the truth of you and it exists within you. And all you need to do is turn within to find your way 
back home to yourself. I want you to take another inhale. And with your exhale, I want you to imagine that you are standing at the edge of a forest. It's a gorgeous forest. It's your forest of spirit. And you and your higher self start to walk down the path that's right there in the middle of the forest. And you come upon this extraordinary tree, your tree of life, on the leaves, on her branches, are written the pages of your Akashic records. She has been with you on this journey, always has been and always will be. She holds all knowledge and wisdom for you. And as you approach her, you go and wrap your arms around a trunk and you feel these beautiful branch-like arms come down to hold and embrace you. And you feel love like you cannot believe. So much love coming from this remarkable tree, your blessed tree of life. And you take an inhale and with an exhale, you give all of your cares and all of your concerns and all of your worries to her. You just let all of that energy flow out of you and she absorbs it all. And through this remarkable process of spiritual transmutation, she transforms all of your egoic minds, worries and cares and concerns and anxieties and fears. And she just transmutes them back to pure white light energy. The most extraordinary process. She has you. She holds you. She is an aspect of you and she loves you. You take an inhale in. And on your exhale, you feel her branches lift up off of you and you step back. And holding your hands in prayer, you bow to her and you thank her for being a part of your soul's journey. Anytime you need to, you can come back and she'll be here for you. She's always here for you. Take another inhale. With your exhale, put yourself back on the path as you continue down your forest of spirit. And you come upon a gorgeous garden. It's your garden of spirit. And there's a path down the middle of the garden that leads to a stone wall with a wooden door with golden hinges on it. And there is a throne in this garden, a very long bench and a tree that provides shade. There's a pool of water. There's a golden elevator that takes you up to source. There's a chamber, it's a tube made of crystal. You get to experience the violet flame there. And there's a huge mirror, a mirror that allows you to see well above your head and beneath your feet. And you walk up to this mirror, and this is the mirror of forgiveness. And as you open your eyes and you look into the mirror, you look deeply into your own soul. And there you can see your higher self with you. At this time, we're going to do a forgiveness exercise so that you can forgive yourself for any part of you that feels that you have been less than, any part of you that feels that you have been separate, any part of you that has judged yourself or others, any part of you that feels lonely or sad, feels anxiety, feels fear. And you're gonna say these four simple phrases. The first phrase is, I'm sorry. And you're going to apologize to yourself for the places where you've disconnected yourself from the truth of you. So look deeply into your own eyes and say, I'm sorry. 
and allow yourself to feel that apology. Next, you're going to say, please forgive me. And grant yourself forgiveness. And when you feel that, you're going to say to yourself, thank you. And allow yourself to feel that gratitude. And in that moment of gratitude, you will say, I love you. And allow yourself to feel the love that you have for yourself. It's beautiful. Next, I want you to walk over to the crystal chamber. It's, a, it's like a tube, like a crystal tube. And there's an opening in the front and there's a vented platform that's made of gold and as soon as you step into this chamber the gorgeous violet flame of Saint Germain begins to surround and engulf you as it's doing this it's burning off any impurities promises that you made that you didn't keep things that you promised that you would do and you didn't things that you promised that you wouldn't do and you did Promises that you made to yourself, promises that you made to others. Violet flame come forth, violet flame come forth, violet flame come forth. And you feel the gorgeous violet flame of Saint Germain completely surround and embrace you, burning off any impurities, any of your heaviness, any of your darkness and engulfing you with pure love, the cleansing violet flame. We thank you, Saint Germain, for the blessing of this cleansing. And then you'll start to feel the flame dissipate and you'll feel it go out. And just know that at any time, you can come back here and you can allow yourself to be cleansed. And as you step out of the chamber, you make your way over to your throne and you may wonder why there's a throne here in your garden of spirit. And that's because you are spiritual royalty. You are made in the likeness and the image of God. You have the mind of God. You are the very essence of God. And I invite you to go ahead and have a seat on your throne. I have a message for you from Jesus. I'm gonna bring him through now. Greetings, beloveds. It is our delight to be with you. We are with you always. This beloved being has allowed us to present ourselves to you in this medium, here in the realm of spirit. You find yourselves at home. You find yourselves at peace. You find yourselves breathing the breath of love seeing through the eyes of love, thinking with the mind of love. So we ask you, dear ones, to come here often, to allow yourselves to remember the truth of you. And the truth of you is that you are love and you are light. What has been manifested in the illusion in which you all live right now is a time of chaos. But all you need to do is turn within and you shall be reminded that the truth of you is love. You are the very embodiment of this act of grace that was gifted upon all. You are an expression of God. Turn your minds towards the mind of God Call out to the Holy Spirit and ask to be put in alignment. 
pray that your will is in alignment with the will of God. For in this alignment, you are pointed in the direction of your true north. You are pointed in the direction of love. For that is the truth of you. Beloved, you are forgiven for all. For there was never anything to be forgiven in the first place. These moments of forgiveness that you grant to yourselves allow you to disconnect from the egoic mind and allows you to be in alignment with the mind and the beingness and the love and the light of source. So bring yourself here often, beloveds. Bring yourselves back to the truth of you. And know that we are here to assist you on your journeys. Call out to us, dear ones. Allow us to be with you in all that you do. Allow us to help you make the decisions that you find you must make every day, at every moment. Ask what you should do. Ask where you should go. Ask with whom you should do it. Ask what you should eat. Ask what you should wear. For we will help to provide you with a shortcut so that you do not need to linger. And this will give you more time to be connected to the truth of you, which is love and light, beloveds. You are precious to us. And we are here to guide you on your journey. Blessings, honor, and grace to you, dear ones. The more that I've been channeling Jesus, the less I find myself crying, which has been gorgeous. He's been having me uh, channel him for 10 minutes a day, and I stare into a gorgeous heart, a sacred Milagro's heart, and I allow myself to feel his presence and to feel his essence. If you're drawn here today, he called for you to be here. So allow yourselves now to stand up from your throne and with your higher self, make your way back into the forest. Send your love and your greetings to your tree of life. Take a nice inhale in and with your exhale, Begin to bring yourself physically back to your body. Take a big inhale, and with your exhale, step out of your higher self. Imagine your higher self in front of you. Thank your higher self for being with you. Your higher self is the Holy Spirit for you, the being that guides you on your journey. Take another inhale, and with your exhale, you can take your heart and you can place it back on your shoulders so you're not walking around headless, <laughs> bumping into things. <laughs> I amuse myself. <laughs> Crack myself up all the time. Oh, I would love to end this meditation with the chant of Aum three times. Thank you all for attending. It was beautiful to have you here. I love you, love you, love you. Please check out the stuff we're doing over at Soma. It's really beautiful. Take a nice inhale in. Another inhale in.
May our mind thinks loving thoughts. May our lips speak loving words. And may our hearts be an embodiment of love and kindness and compassion and grace now and always. Amen. Thank you all for being with me today. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.